Well, we got a uh, major low pressure in here. It's uh, looks like it's going to rain. I got my fishing dog with me today. That's my girl. And uh, well, we're going to go out and work real slow. We're going to start with a spinner bait and try to get it as tight to this cover as we can. See if we can't pick up an active fish or two. But more than likely, we're going to end up going to a jig or a, a big plastic worm because this these fronts tend to just make them get real tight shut down so you got to kind of work it real slow during that time so I've got a, a seven inch plastic worm rigged up baby caster uh, a little spinner bait I'm going to start off with and then I've got a, a little jig that we will uh, start working and we'll get the worm and jig as tight as you can to the cover work it real slow but we're going to start off with spinner bait and work around here and see if we can't get us an active fish or two so we'll get back with you and let you know how we did. Well, we switched up to the jig and uh, just coming around this point, we got our first uh, bass of the day on the jig. We tried to spin our bait for a little while and then we switched over to the jig. Haven't been throwing a jig maybe 20 minutes, so we got one. So, uh, we're going to keep on going. I'm going to get this one back in the water. And she's wanting it really bad, but she's not going to get it. So let me get this back in. We'll get back with you and see how many more we can get on the jig. Well, here's bass number two on the jig. Uh, pitching tight as we can to the cover and just working it slow out. Uh, Come around this point now and uh, we've gotten two so we're going to keep on working around because I know the other side of the lake and down by the dam holds some pretty decent fish too but uh we've got two on a jig so far so I'm going to get back with you and let you know how we do the rest of the thing down through here. I'm going to try to show you a cast here I don't know how well, I'm going to be able to do it with one arm, but see how I went up and under that stuff over there? That's how you want to get in there tight, and you want to do it all down the bank there. Just get it pitched right up and under there, and then slowly raise that rod up and down. Let it contact the bottom, and you'll, you'll feel that bass just get that jig real heavy. So that's what we're doing right now. See? So uh, I'm going to get this one reeled in here. Got my uh, third bass on a jig here. I'll try to get him in real quick. If I can't. Oh, uh, well, there he is. That's a decent little bass right there. That little jig's paying off today, so it's like our third fish, so we're gonna keep on working around here, see if we can't get a couple more. That jig worked real slow. It's uh, producing bass, but it's a low front, cloudy day, so they're going to be tight. So give that a try, but we'll see what we can get for you, you know, after this. Well, well, I think this is bass number four or five. Uh, right off that little jig, just work it real slow. Like I said, the fish are going to be tight on a day like today, but that is a, another nice fish out of the pond, so we're going to get him put back in there, and we're going to keep on having some fun, I guess, so we'll let you know how it's working out later. Oh, we got another one on here, I'm going to try to get him in the boat. Oh, there he is. i got to try to keep him away from the dog. All right, I don't know what number that makes today, but that's another healthy little bass came on that jig, so as long as they keep on biting, I'm going to keep on fishing, boys. That's the way us fishermen are, so I got a pattern going here. Jigs tight to the grass and wood, and uh, work it slow, so we'll see how many we, more we can get today. Well, well the uh, wind kicked up. And uh, I can't really hold the boat too well to work that jig, so we're going to head back in for a little while, and hopefully that wind will kick down. 
I went back in this little cove here. It's kind of shallow, but I wasn't getting any bites back in there. I'm mainly getting my bites off the little bit deeper banks. You know, so, uh, but uh, as tight as I get to those deep banks is where I was catching them all at. And I uh, didn't get nothing in the shallow areas. So we're going to head in until this wind dies down. Maybe come back out and get some tomorrow or so. Uh, we'll talk at you later. But uh, a little 8 ounce jig, six, 3 16 ounce, I mean, uh, jig and a uh, little pork trailer. A little spinning rod. Just fishing as close to the bank as you can get it. Any of this cover, you just want to. Even, even out on the end of the trees, I caught a couple out. You know, it was just tight to the cover. This bank here is kind of shallow, so got a few right there. But uh, just work it slow on these uh, low pressure days like that. I mean, I really didn't want to get out today, and I'm sure the fish didn't want to move around a whole lot either. But we managed to get a few out of here, so uh, try the little jig next time you're out on a miserable day like this.